Hi everybody, this is Joe and Sean King with Revival Brothers. We're here today to show you how to use the contact sheet within IPA. Right now we're looking at the contact sheet and the contact sheet is broken out into contacts on the left and notes on the right. And when you start to use this thing, what you're gonna realize is that we have in here pre-selected uh, contact types in here from contractors to attorneys to vendors. Um, if for whatever reason you don't have the type of person or vendor in here that you're looking for, drop us an email and we'll add it, no problem. Or they can scroll down to the very bottom. I believe we have something that is for other, so. Right, there's, there, for right now, there's something in there for other, but if you want anything added in here, um, in particular, drop us an email and we, we can add it, no problem. So. Let's just say uh, we have an architect. Um, we put the contact name in here. Actually, I'm gonna call this company one. And the contact I'm gonna call contact one. Uh, but we should probably put a few extra numbers in here. Make that work, okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna add the contact. You see that the contact has been added down here. Now, once this contact is added, I can add notes related to this contact simply by clicking on add note. Um, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna add a note and you'll see uh, as I do that, it brings up the note over here. Now I can, I can type something here, you know, to, to keep me on track of what I did on the project or whatever. It automatically puts the date in for you. Uh, you can add a time if you want. Uh, and you can see the contact name is contact one. Subject uh, is from the architect. And you can use these buttons or not, it's up to you. Was it completed, yes or no? And then you click on uh, update here. And then the note updates. So again, if I wanted to create an, another contact in here, I would um, I would come up here and I'd say, okay, I'm talking to a contractor. So I could type, I could come in here and scroll down to contractor. And let's say it's a general contractor. And then now this is gonna be contact two and company two. Um, they're going to have an email and a phone number and all that. I'm going to add this contact. Now I can see company two has been added and I'm going to add a note from company two. I'm going to call this company two note, right? Now, as I, as I add these notes in here and, and my, um, and my companies, if I come up here, you'll see that they've been added in the drop down. So you'll also see up here under search notes that the notes have been added in and the date that they've been added. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, add a few more contacts. So again, we start with selecting the type of contact. Let's just say this is an, an eviction attorney and we're gonna uh, name this eviction attorney contact three and company three. Okay. And we're going to add that contact and we're going to add a note and this is going to be company three note and we're going to update that and then um, so the other thing I want to say is, let's say the eviction attorney, we, we did, forgot to put the email in. We can come over here and we can put that email in. Let's say, uh, I'm just going to add company3.com. Okay, we put that email in. And now if I wanted to update this in the database, I click on the update button and it updates that contact into the database. So now my um, my contact three and company three uh, has an email in it. 
if I don't click that update button, next time you come in, it won't be there because it won't save it. And if you want to delete any of these at any given time, you can click the delete button and it'll delete the, uh, the contact out of the system. You can also clear all. Uh, you can clear all of the, the uh, contacts out of here and all of the notes or both. I can scroll through who it was from. Was it from an architect, attorney, you know, whoever it was from, and it will be in alphabetical order. And I can go to the date and I can kind of understand exactly where, you know, um, this this note is in relation to, to my project as far as dates go. Um, same thing with contacts. I can sift through them and I can click on a contact and it will highlight, it'll go down and highlight that contact. So if I click on contractor, it'll go down and highlight the contractor. If I come down and I want to look at the attorney eviction note that I wrote, I can do that and it'll go down to the attorney eviction note. And if there was more attorney eviction notes, they will all be in order one underneath the other. So that is our contact sheet in a nutshell. Again, if you have any questions, drop us a line. If you wanted to clear all this information when you're done, you click the clear all button. It clears everything out and brings it back to its original state. With that, I hope that this was helpful. And Sean, did you want to add anything? Yeah, just one thing uh, I'd like to mention. So let's just say that you don't have a specific contact to uh, make a note for. You can just simply just add notes. And so you just go over to where it says add note, Joe, and click that. And if you just want to add a note, you can go ahead and uh, add a note. So you, there's going to be certain criteria. Make sure you have a subject when you do add a note. And then um, it will go ahead and add a specific note that's not tied to a actual contact. So. But other than that, that is definitely in a nutshell our contact page. And if you got, if yeah, again, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, drop us an email at support at revolverbrothers.com.